Hi guys, if you're new here, my name is Sam and I make videos about makeup, chronic illness, and whatever I want. And today I want to talk about how weather change impacts chronic illnesses and kind of where I've been and why I'm kind of sporadic. If you are subscribed to me, if you're not, please do. In my community tab, I have kept updates as to like where I am and things like that, but a lot of it really just comes down to the weather. So let's talk about how weather impacts chronic illness. Well, nobody likes the drastic up and down and changes in the weather, especially when they're drastic. They really impact people with chronic illnesses more and it becomes almost like a dis disability justice issue when we bring in climate change. And this isn't political. I'm not talking about like the politics behind climate change. I'm just talking about the actual scientific phenomena of the climate changing. There is endless evidence to prove that the climate is different than it used to be. This isn't getting into global warming, yes or no. The climate has changed and is continuing to change. So how is this a disability rights and a disability justice issue? Well, the weather changes impact chronic illnesses so severely, and I'm sure there are other things I'm not aware of, such as accessibility issues, but let's just talk about it from a chronic illness standpoint. So here, where I live in the Midwest, it is cold in April. It's not freezing, it's not winter, but it is chilly. We had four days where it was above 80 and a couple of days where it was almost 90, and then within eight hours, it dropped from about 82 to snowing and you can imagine that made everyone feel terrible but those of us who have chronic illness issues that are definitely impacted by the barometric pressure changes that just wrecks havoc on our bodies. So I'm going to talk about this mainly from the my perspective. I can't speak for how it impacts anyone else. So for me, I struggle in the winter a lot with pain and stiffness in my joints especially, but also my muscles. I'm also quite fatigued because of the lack of sunlight. Now, I do better when it's warm, but if it's too warm, my pots flares up and I have issues cooling my body down. I have temperature regulation issues in general as my body can't just cool itself off or warm itself up without assistance. So it's quite difficult when the weather is bouncing all around because it fatigues me to a wild level, but also I have to try and like do all of these things. Like we had the central air on and then I immediately had to turn the heat on, I had to dig out shorts and a tank top and then immediately put on a hoodie and pants. Like it's a lot and it's incredibly draining. The spring and the fall are for me the best times of year because it's very consistent and it's a calm, not calm, it's like a slow increase and decrease in temperature. We slowly increase to warm and we slowly decrease to cool and that is so much easier for me and my body to handle but with climate change, we're slowly losing those windows and we're just going straight from winter to summer and straight from summer to winter rather than having those slow in-between periods that are great for my health conditions specifically. Pain, brain fog, exhaustion, blood pressure issues, you name it, the swings in the weather really, really aggravate it. It started for me on Saturday, so it was quite warm all last week. And then last Saturday, I got the start of a migraine. I was able to kind of keep it steady from progressing, but it was still quite bad. And it lasted until about Monday afternoon, and then the body pain started, and it can't quite decide if it's going to snow or it's going to be 60 or if it's going to be 30. And I'm just really struggling. The exhaustion, the temperature switching is definitely what set off my migraine because my sinuses have no idea which season to prepare for. Now, our summers have gone from fairly mild with a few warm or hot days to mainly hot and humid. With asthma and pots, I struggle to breathe. 
I overheat, I get dizzy, I get nauseous, I faint a lot more easily. It's almost impossible for me to function without assistance when it gets incredibly hot because my body is like an overheating computer and I can't really do anything that would increase my heart rate, which would also increase my body temperature. Why this turns into like a disability rights situation is it takes so much more from our lives when we have a chronic illness. Like we're already so limited and it's already really hard to predict what we're going to do in advance. We often can't plan things. And when the weather just decides to yo-yo, we have no idea how our body's going to react or how long it's going to take us out for. Like I had no idea last weekend that I was going to spend all of this week in bed or on the couch, like unable to function. I've barely been eating because like even digestion was an issue. Like my body slowed so much that I wasn't digesting food very quickly. So I couldn't eat too much or it would cause stomach issues. It was a whole situation. The weather is completely out of our control. So there's so many times where we have to cancel or call off work if we're able to work. And it's already difficult when you've lost so much of your freedom and your autonomy with your body that now the weather is taking even more away from you and there's nothing you can do about it. It leads to a lot of depression, anxiety, and stress when you have even more freedom taken away from you. I know I'm absolutely not alone in this. I know it impacts all people with chronic illnesses differently. The barometric pressure plays a role in so many things, even if you don't have chronic illnesses. It can cause old injuries to hurt, uh, a, you know, form a broken bone. Or like for me, sometimes I get pain where my wisdom teeth had to be like surgically removed from my jaw. I will link some articles down below talking about like barometric pressure and like how it can impact your body, whether you have health conditions or not. I think those of us who have chronic illnesses just feel it a bit more, but it definitely impacts everyone. It's one of the reasons why you'll get like a headache before it's going to rain. It's very interesting how in tune with nature our body can be, but it's also very inconvenient when it can just strip things away from you. I have made a video about like tips to help survive like the extreme heat and I've offered some suggestions on how to help your body stay warm but please let me know in the comments if you have suggestions on how you deal with like these new found weathers that you've never had to deal with you know. I'm from the Midwest, I'm not from the South so I don't know how to deal with the extreme humidity or the extreme heat so any tips would be helpful. Uh, this video is mostly to let you know that like this spring has been pretty wild so far and you're not alone if you're struggling. I wasn't even sure if I was going to be able to film a video this week. I just did very minimal makeup and uh, had a little bit of energy to talk about this because it's a short video but I'm going to crash immediately after and I have to do an errand tomorrow. I will probably be bed bound all weekend because the weather's going to change again. Now they're estimating possibly an inch of snow on Tuesday. It was 60 today. I am so tired. I'm tired of being so sick and in extra pain and extra exhausted. And I know you guys are feeling it too. And I just want to send some solidarity that you're not alone. You're not failing. You're not doing anything wrong. This is completely out of your control. Uh, this is definitely a real thing and you didn't do anything to cause a flare or a crash. This is sadly all on mother nature. Feel free to leave any tips, suggestions, anything like that in the comments. I very much appreciate it and I'm sure my fellow viewers appreciate it too. Uh, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you haven't already. And I hope I can do two videos next week, but I know you guys understand. I can't control what my body does.